Hello guys, welcome to Martin Made. My name is Stephanie and today I'm going to be making burp cloths. back when I had my son he is now almost three years old and I decided I wanted to make a, a very special blanket that was quilted by his mama and so I made a blanket but I also made some burp cloths that I used through probably the first year and a half to two years we used them at the beginning for like spit up and, and all of that, but we also used them later on um, down the road for like wiping his nose and his face and, and stuff like that. Some of those kinds of things when we were at home. So they work great. They are absorbent. They do a wonderful job. And so I thought this time around, since I'm pregnant with a little girl, I was going to make some burp claws for her. And so I have material that I have chosen that I plan to make some burp claws with, and I'm going to share that with you now. So for this project, you would need a sewing machine and basic sewing tools. You would also need some fabric um, the baby flannel cut to 10 by 18 and then a salad bowl as well as minky material that is cut to 10 by 18 as well. So when starting this project you want to take your baby flannel put it face up and your minky put it face down on top just making sure the right sides are together. Now you can either stitch it like this as a square or you can round the corners. Now to round them you want to fold the fabric in half and then fold it in half again, then take a salad bowl and kind of put it up to the corner where you can mark the corners off. Um, I just kind of made sure the salad bowl lined up with the edges and cut off what was extra there um, with my scissors. Now, when you're done cutting, you're going to want to stitch it closed. You can use a half inch seam allowance, but make sure you start in the middle of one of the long sides and go all the way around till you get to about maybe three or four inches from the start and make sure that you have that opening there big enough so that you can flip the piece inside out. Once you have that done, then you can start flipping it inside out run your hand along the seam just to make sure that all the edges come out and it looks nice. Now right where the opening is, you're going to want to start sewing here. What I normally do is I will put the seams together and try to line them up with the rest of the piece and I will pin them together so that I make sure that they stay right where they need to be. Now once you have that pinned, you can take the sewing machine and stitch maybe about a quarter inch away from the edge of the burp cloth and do that all the way around and then make sure that you cut off the loose strings and you have yourself a burp cloth. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. 
For those of you who are new to this channel, there is a subscribe button down below. You can hit that. And then there's also a little bell that comes up when you're on a mobile device and that bell, it will notify you anytime I upload a new video. And that's usually just about every Thursday. Sometimes I'll pop a new video up throughout the week sometimes and you don't wanna miss that. So those of you who would like to comment, I would love to hear from you. If you do any kind of crafting, let me know what is your love for crafting? What craft do you love to do? I love sewing. I love a lot of different crafts. My mother-in-law and I, we get together a lot of times here in the summer, more so, um, and we do card making because she loves to make cards and I love to make cards. So. There will be times that we'll get together and we'll just bring all our stuff together and we'll make cards together and it's such a fun time. I'm so glad that you joined me for this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye friends.